Welcome back to part two of Spears of the Dawn. I am, of course, GM Arthur Perkins, and we are slightly late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we took exactly nine minutes. Sorry about that. Oh, and I forgot my hat. How did I turn the camera on without this hat? Yeah. Oh, so I, so my gear. Prepared. I can't lie. I took my gear off and got me some water with the bath. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I, I drank like eight cups of water, and I still got another cup here with me. I don't have my Loot Crate mug, because it's in the washing machine. So sad. <laughs> in the washing machine? Uh, yeah, oh, with this, gosh, with this you know. jeans. The dishwasher? Yeah, it, it's in, it was like tie-dye jeans, just trying to, you know, get get the red <laughs> back into them, you know? <laughs> hey, if you want to pull a body look, man. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Spears of back to, now. Back to Spears, Spears of the of drama. The drama. <laughs> Spears of drama. Need some soap opera music. All right. <laughs> uh, I, God, I don't even know where to go from here. <laughs> uh, we had this incredibly intense conversation between Naomi and Kareem about they need to have a kid. Some revelations. Uh, I feel it's time to jump back to Gofu. As as the sun is now setting in this village now, uh, Avienda is still following you everywhere you go. You see me kind of sigh, like I guess we do have to spend the night then. I apologize for the inconvenience to her. In my native language, you're you're talking to I dash way. I dash way. Okay, I dash way is like no, you can't stay here. Your friend already said none of you are staying here. I have no place for you. Oh, I was talking to the... Oh, oh yeah, she's there now? Yeah. That was off washing. I thought I was still with the uh, bodyguard one. Avienda? Yeah. I mean, okay, so you say to Avienda, and Avienda says, Was she there for that conversation? I don't know. I thought she was stalking me while I was washing. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember if Avienda was there when Gofu, or when Kareen told I Dashway he wasn't going to stay the night. I don't think so. So, Avienda is just like, you and I will stay the night, and then in the morning, I will take you back home where you belong. Temporarily. I'd like to speak to my father first, of course. So, she looks at you kind of appraisingly and is like, that's good, you are taking responsibility for your actions. Perhaps soon you will be good enough to become a man. You will do Themba More. proud. Hmm. I kind of just sigh. You're not going to let the boy thing go, are you? She's As I kind of flex my muscle. Yeah, she's like, you're 14 <laughs> and unmarried. You are a boy. Come on, I, you got to admit, I gained some muscle mass. So she's, she just looks over your, your muscles and is like, you think that impresses me? There are many women on the southern lines who have much more muscle than you. But it's better than three months ago, am I right? You're a growing boy. That's all I want. <laughs> she that rolls her like... eyes and is just like, and that is why you are a boy and not a man. Whatever, I'm awesome. Plus, you already know I could take you in a fight if I had my weapons, as I kind of point to them. She looks pretty troubled by that. She's just like, so you think you should fight me then? Oh, I'm just saying. I already know I can take you. You just scurred as I walk off. Come along. We have to keep going. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> you told her what's up. Uh, yeah, I think... Remember, she's used to serving nobility, so I think she just automatically begins to follow you without even thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, she thinks I'm the prisoner, but who's really in charge? Grandfather? Exactly. Mr. <laughs> Oaks. Don't worry, I'll talk to uh, my father, Universe. Going with that name. Did you say your dad's name is Universe? Yep. His name Can is start... Universe Oaks. Universe Oaks. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. We'll it's, starting feel, it's starting to feel like a TV <laughs> universe, like I'm Steven and everybody else. <laughs> Let's roll with it. Okay, where are you going? Uh, I'm trying to make up with the rest of my group. All right. Um, that begs the question, where is Abelia? 
I'm looking for Avienda and Gofu. All right, then all three groups. I think we get the uh, the the overhead, um, like StarCraft II overhead of all three <laughs> of you approaching each other, and then like <laughs> like little po portraits of your faces pop up with like subtitled dialogue as you begin is like talking. A, is it like an angled line and then a straight line with like a a picture and then yeah. <laughs> And then, like, the camera angle slowly comes, like, more and more down to earth. So the conversation continues, but the portraits and the subtitles disappear. As we see uh, Abelia greeting Gofu and Afienda and Kareem and Naomi and saying... It would be a good idea to talk to my father. I think he will be a understanding man he knows he got married at my age and i should be able to make my own responsibilities and choices well i guess his first wife anyway is a long conversation <laughs> so far i think he and i together can convince kareem and naomi to come along with us and we've oh. all been on each other's journeys and are starting to understand each other's backgrounds and clearly how the past is affecting our present and our future together. But we have to find them first before we leave. Well, There's no right. way we wouldn't let you go with that without us. So Avienda's yeah, like, shouldn't the rest of you be I don't know, getting a job? Fighting Eternals? What? Serving the country? They are serving the country. What do you They're even here. do for a living? Do for a living. <laughs> we're we're, 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 we're like role play murder I, hobos. I never I murdered anybody. I, I talked to Avienda. It's Avienda. I understand that we this may not requests. be particularly normal uh, uh, or something that you've seen before, but I would love to answer all of your questions. It doesn't need to be asked with you know such okay. perhaps sarcasm. She says very well. You will jobs. answer all of my questions, please. What do you do for a living? I am a my my role, my job is as a negotiator. When was the last out. time you actually were paid? Last time I was paid? Gosh, I come with money from my father's clan, so <laughs> I had enough to travel with while I was setting up trade routes Trust between God, baby. wealthy villages. <laughs> You see me kind of like look at everybody. We get paid for this. You haven't I been get, getting paid. I get no, my own. I thought we do this out of the goodness of our hearts. What? <laughs> so I like I pull out my bag of like fifty silver and I start shaking. And I was like, I get paid every day, lady. You see me like? Oh, we're all together. Off. Sorry, I missed the part where we're all together. Yep, Naomi, yeah, that Kareem was the fade in well. of, of us being all tracked back to the same yeah, spot. Yeah. That's it. So it's great. Yeah. So that part about us, as long as we're all together, is meant to say as long as they agree with coming along with us. Yeah. That is fine. But yeah, I don't. You know, we have enough to take care of what we need, Avienda. So I'm not quite sure what the issue is here. We're not asking you for any help or any money. So why are you concerned about our livelihood? It doesn't affect so you she's or like, your life. That's true. I probably shouldn't be concerned about it, except for civil discourse. Oh, we're being civil. Okay. I didn't catch that part. I'm not okay. screaming at you, and I haven't cut off Kareem's hand yet. That would never You also have shall... it go through. And you shall she... never will cut off So she hand. kind of looks at, at the setting sun. She's like, that's true. I haven't slept him in almost 12 hours. <laughs> it must be a new record. You see me, like, my face is, like, starting to swell down. It's like, hmm, I like this record. <laughs> I actually I point say, out to Avienda that, yes, I, I appreciate the civil discourse, and I hope we can continue talking this way. And I say to Naomi in our native language, don't worry, we're meeting at the border, so we don't have to worry about the situation. And I nod to her. You're saying that to Naomi? Yeah, in our okay, language. Okay, you do know Avienda speaks that language as well. I know. Okay, all right. Wait, just what, did sure. say? <laughs> what did he say? I missed some of that. <laughs> I talk about Naomi's situation, about 
you know, the thing. What thing? Oh, wait, it's, what? The thing you can't go in the country because of certain people. Oh, yeah, yeah, that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that That's thing. That's why I agreed to go in there because we're meeting on the outskirts. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I can't, I actually can't go back. <laughs> exactly, that's why it's like, okay, Naomi be safe so I can actually talk to my father and figure out, what's the deal, yo, dad? You don't show up for any of my birthdays. I don't even, actually don't know what you look like. I have vague memories. Are you really my dad? Are you really yeah. my dad? Just some dude. Just some dude. You've been catfished. You've yeah. Catfished. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, your dad's actually your aunt. Oh. Surprise. So she, so she still has not returned. Like I looked down to see if she's still in possession of the of Gofu's um, totems. She is. I say he. I see him look. It's like it's fine for yeah, now. Yeah, I'm like oh, glaring. Yeah, she sees you glaring at the pouch around her waist, and she's like, "Are you looking at my backside? You seem I'm very looking upset at your for stolen something. goods." Spears hmm. don't approve of thieves. And apparently you so don't she, approve she of nods thieves her head. Either. She's like, that is a good policy to have. What punishment will you level on Gofu for walking through the village and taking food this morning? I kind of point to my face. I give him a good yeah. slap on the face. Like, <laughs> no <laughs> stealing. <laughs> Avienda <laughs> just looks at you and says, I will accept a similar punishment. I'm right. not too proud to not receive a slap that a noble would take. Can I slap her? Uh, yes. I slap her. Okay, she makes no attempt to dodge this at all. You are a great warrior. I say everybody must slap me. Exactly. As I just, like, I let each of my teammates slap me. <laughs> it's like a bonding moment. <laughs> I slap Gofu. I slapped her. No, you are have to you... slap me as my punishment to slap her. Get what I'm saying? Everybody Finished now? Everyone? Done slapping each other. Uh, yeah, Cause... the uh, three stooges scene ends. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Billy is just like in the middle of the town. Really? Okay. That's. Does everybody feel better now that you've worked it out of your system? Because now that that's done, I don't want to do that again. All you're right. All done, well, I right? still think that he should have his stuff back. Okay, I mean, but the you're slapping done. was fun, but okay, you know, good. the stuff. That's so oh. Billy is acting. As she's putting her foot down and she's like, "Okay, children, hey, you feel you got it out of your system." Okay, now. Well, we I mean, she still has. I like, mean, slapped her. But she it's received cool. the punishment like an appropriate thief, so you're, we're done. I like now. to say it's cool. We can, if we come Naomi, in have you done what you needed to do to figure out your situation? Uh, I have not talked to the spirits yet, but that is something we can do on the way. Uh, so and it, it does sound like we are all going to go to see Gofu's dad. Yeah. Okay. Have you returned the robes you were wearing? Uh, yeah, I have. Have you returned I, the I've knives prepared... in the cup? No, I have prepared the, um, I've prepared the robes, uh, for delivery. I put them, um... At some point, I would have changed into my clothes. We have okay. our clothes, right? Yes, right. You That's do. yeah. That would have been a thing. So, like, um, I put the robes on the table in the uh, tent uh, and stacked them up so it kind of looks like the cup yeah. and the knives are underneath. Put like a rock under there. <laughs> yeah. Um. But then, like, I'm gonna look over to Cream and just kind of like, I don't know, throw him one of those looks. Like, uh, are we gonna like need the other stuff? Kind of look. I, I, uh, yeah. Like, I'm, I motion like, to catch... the bag and like, you know, kind of like motion to the bag and like point at it and like kind of shrug at him. Like, it takes you know, me like those... it takes me like four seconds to like figure out what she's talking about. I just like glaze over and I'm like, oh, right, all the stuff I put in my back. And I take it out and I, I, I like kind of awkwardly like pull the stuff out and like avoiding her glance a little bit and like putting the stuff back. And then I like, I'm gonna like nod my head and 
I just like mumble under my breath. I'm like, oh man, I gotta de- really gotta talk to these spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I also mentioned to the crew that I've spoken to Revlo, um, who's uh, Ida Shea's husband, and we are not welcome here for a month and a day, and I have to go make amends with my father. Not required right now, but so you know. Let's not do anything else to anger the village on the way out. No worry, we'll talk to your father after we talk to my father. He can wait. Keb is busy with an election. True. Well, Very true. It's fine. Just let's not make it two months and two days. Okay. In the few minutes that we're going to take to leave. <laughs> I, I have a question. Um, how long do you think that you're going to be uh, allowed back into the village once they discover that yet again you've literally stolen someone something from them? No, we put it back. Oh, did you put the cup back? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What because I mean. he, oh, okay. he, just, that's he just made his decision, like what he's gonna do, like how we're gonna handle this this okay. uh, yeah. disease issue. I'm sorry, so I missed that. Back. Yeah, that's yeah. why okay. I was like uh, being awkward neatly packaged, right? While you we said, were putting the... it nice and yeah, this, he like nice. he was being awkward and he like wouldn't he wouldn't glance at me as he put the stuff back, and then I'm like, oh, okay, we're gonna. Okay. I must have just completely zoned out there. I missed oh, that. Oh, you missed that was, that was Yeah, you missed that was pretty you, good. Glad you went back over it. But... Oh god, I'm gonna have to <laughs> have to rewatch it, man. Hashtag rewatch. Yeah. Context oh, please. Bad. Hashtag not awkward at all. I have I have no <laughs> idea what happened I, there. Like we're not you guys started doing... talking about putting a rock under the sheet and I just zoned out apparently. Yeah. Well that was yeah, it was kinda of, yeah, Chat was... caught it. Oh, all right, all right. Just chats on the edge of their seat. I know, right? <laughs> You've paid for your whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge of it. Oh, so good, so good. <laughs> so we're, we haven't right. done anything that will anger them. <laughs> anything oh, else? <laughs> significant anything glances. More. Yeah, <laughs> I don't kiss. I don't kiss any goats on the way out of town, Arthur. Okay, not even one. Um, so you're gonna spend all 14 days in transit? Just traveling in a straight line back towards the, uh... Does any of this head in the same area as the caravan or a go-go? Uh, it does not. It actually is, if you look on the map, it's a sh- straight line through your village, though. Oh, okay. It's, we don't this have to is the there. trading post here, <laughs> and this is the... The purple is the trading post. The black is the area you're currently at. You pass it just under your village. Yeah, it's, we'd have to it's go It's like up five miles, miles out of your way. Oh, yeah, miles no, out no, of the way. Definitely won't just, stop. I cannot, by the way, what I'm seeing on Roll20 on the map, there's nothing that pops up to show you know, any icons. So there's, I just see a purple section, a pink section, a green section. Can you not see the markings on the, the map? X's? Like the you see. X's? X's. Give me one. Maybe it's just stuck. Let me just re resize the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna try a few things and then go. Okay. But yeah, I was looking right at the thing and didn't see any. I usually usually give me those, uh, you know, Doppler effect rings. And now everything's blurry. Okay, everything's back. All right, <laughs> even can, the letters are back. Can, okay, the letters are back. Go Wildcats. Go Wildcats. Go Wildcats. Yeah, I thought perhaps you had changed it, Arthur, but I see it. Yep, it's just me. We're all doing I just had to reload everything. Yep, yep, yep. I see it. We don't need to stop by my house. Well, you know, if we need some food and some money, we can. So why don't we judge it as we get closer? Okay. If we need to make a pit stop, at least we'll be safe. Then I can talk to my dad. Okay. Excellent. Go Wildcats. Um, halfway through the journey, Naomi, um, I feel like at some point we should have a scene where you do some spirit way priestess stuff, right? Yep. What, I mean, what does it look like when you try to contact the spirits? Um. Like, do you, do you put stuff out? Is there, like, drawings yeah. in the dirt? Are you Yeah, there's something? drawings, there's gonna be drawings in the dirt. I set up, um, um, 
some rocks and some sticks kind of like in not really kind of like a like a rhombus it's really yep. like to be specific like a rhombus <laughs> and then um i have to do like a kind of like a a dance i guess it would be best described in like the center but i have to hit all the points of the the space and then um there's a a chanting to um summon the spirits so it sounds like a kind of like a folk singing only it's really low and quiet okay so what is your uh what is your intent with this ritual to um somehow put together some uh details of what happened while we were in that tent okay all right are you calling upon a specific spirit sphere i'm going to call upon the life sphere okay you don't have a particularly strong connection to the life sphere yet do you yeah, i do oh i thought you were life and death i thought you were just a death okay you have life as well excellent yep. Oh, that's right. You leveled. Did you pick that up as your... Well, no, because I choose two in the beginning. Oh, okay. All right. Interesting. I have life and death. Very well. All right. So, yeah. Make your uh, priestcraft wisdom roll. We'll see what the results are. I have another question while you're making the roll. Are you yeah. letting anybody see this ritual, or is this something you do privately? Um, I would do it privately. Okay. Typically. Oh, yeah. Arthur, you see on the way back that Gofu is kind of like off because I'm thinking that Gungas are probably connected to their toes and like not hearing their voices or kind of like draining in a sense. Okay, so you're feeling like you're getting slowly like weaker? Yeah, like fatigued, like okay. your mind just drifting. All right, excellent. Let's Let's see this roll. Five. Okay, yeah. Uh, while you're performing this ritual, you're you're singing, and then at some point during it, you're not really sure when. You're you're still making motions with your mouth. You're still trying to make sound, and nothing comes out. And four dots of light just appear before you, just floating there, and form into the shape of of like uh, a diamond. And you hear a voice call out and say. I am the spirit of expectation. Well. Hello there. Might you be able to help me with a few questions? I need to know what exactly happened a few nights ago inside of a tent with a particular person. I need to know... I do not know of the events you speak of. Then how can I you help me? I have looked into your past. A period of time around you is shrouded. The spider has lain across the web of your spirit. Well, that doesn't help me. Okay, uh, I guess I will change my course of questioning. Um, am I expecting a child of any sort? So this, the spirit changes colors. It goes from white to, like, purple and says, This is a good, strong question to ask of expectation. Oh, it's muted. I was saying that he's going to turn into a blue plus sign. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Murdering oh, it, guys. Shit, oh, killing it. it. <laughs> um... <laughs> You have to wait. I have to ask you, T.O. I heard that phrase before. What does that mean? What? I also mean, uh, oh my god. Okay, because I heard it before. It's like, I always wonder what that meant. That might not have actually been it. He was asking what you were saying in Spanish. Yeah. Oh, me? Oh, I, Dios mío means, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's what oh I thought. It was. Okay, so that's what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Okay, that makes sense. Not a pharmacy. 
to answer that question, I need to know something, Naomi. Have you and Kareem been spending time, and I'm using this as like <laughs> together during your travel so far, or have you just like been sleeping separately? The only time that we spent together was the time in the tent. The mystery. Okay, so he oh. says, I sense no expectation from you in that regard. Well, then I don't need to ask you any more questions. I will take the fates into my own hands. So uh, they kind of switch back to a white color, and I expect that fate will soon serve you a dish that you would rather spit up than swallow. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, Arthur, murder me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you're oh. literally just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take fates in your own hands, and he's just like, no, you're not, fate, no. I think Arthur doesn't. Somewhere midway, I was like, fate is going to serve you a dish best served miss, cold. You, <laughs> you just. You <laughs> 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 what you said was, was the funniest thing oh, you've ever said. One. It's so nice. I don't. He doesn't notice. <laughs> okay, yeah, dude, watch it All back. Right. <laughs> All right, I seem to have missed something. Yeah. But... to confirm or... Okay. Alright. <laughs> we'll see we'll see about that. We'll see. Alright. I, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm mute. just gonna stop Next and take a drink. Cry, Arthur. <laughs> Killing me. Someone's gonna have to explain it to me what it was during alright. What the fuck, guys? Just what are we doing <laughs> now, chat, Naomi? You're going right back chat. to sleep. All right. You see, Goku's like kind of talking to himself, like that, like withdrawal look. Like he's writing down notes. Wow, you like, guys have dirty fucking minds, you sons of bitches. <laughs> you sons of bitches. What just happened with the language here? Where did it go? Get it, get it back. Ouch, my side hurts. Really? <laughs> really guys I love you Arthur alright my bad for accidental <laughs> innuendos guys I know, I know. those are the best kind I'll, t I'll tell you what I'll tell you why it happened I've been reading to everyone. I've been reading King Killer again and there's a, there's a chapter I just ended on before the show is about uh, secrets being stones in your heart that you would rather hide inside your stomach than spit out uh. Oh. And so okay. I think that definitely affected my language here. It's okay. It's okay. Seriously, right. it, yeah. it was oh. it was all us, not you. <laughs> oh, it was all us. We're terrible people. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. <laughs> all right, you monsters. <laughs> Is there anything else? Any other scenes people would like on the trip to uh, Passport Town? I guess we're just gonna call it. You, I try to talk. Lady, and to let me have at least the mask. Avienda? Yeah. Like, yeah, she's just like would, no. I don't look healthy right now. Yeah, she's just like, yes, I could give it to you, and then you would be capable of ripping my soul from my body. Uh, I'm not that powerful. You know this. <clears throat> uh. I feel like this conversation is taking place, like, around a campfire during the middle of the night. And she, like, tosses some extra wood into the campfire as it, like, flutters up. And she's, she says, I once knew you, that's true, before you ran away from home and started hanging out with these people. Who knows how powerful you are now? Who knows what it is you think? I would prefer to stay safe. You could be a danger to yourself. You're almost certainly a danger to me. This, when I pass out, can you carry me at least? She just looks happen. at the fire and she's just like, sure. Is, are we all, we're all sitting there together and this is not looking good, so I'm going to try again. And gently persuade her to please give Gofu what he needs. We've okay, I want to make sure I was going to be very difficult because as she's already indicated, she believes that if Gofu has sure. his power back, he's definitely going to try to just burn her to death. And Gofu? Will you burn I, her to death? No. No, I it sounds like you're that. asking him, and he might say, yeah. <laughs> you do me a favor and burn her to death. Yeah. I, 
don't know, I prefer not burning people. I just want to feel well again. It's the spirit. The I don't think photos. it is going to be appropriate to allow Gofu to suffer continually because you have his totems. Don't, and that's definitely not part of this plan. And walking 14 days across the land with you. So we can tell a new story together that involves you being understanding. And so I would like her to give the stuff back, please. Okay, let's make the roll. No, nope, just no, halfway. Not even close. Okay. Um. Fine. Have rolls tonight, man. I did she, well with the apologies, but I didn't want to have to bust out the big was, guns. <laughs> oh, there was a couple. Fair of, oh no, those are Arthur's good rolls. Never mind. Yeah, those are my Those are Arthur's good rolls. <laughs> yeah. If Chris, Gofu, you are there. Gofu, if you are really bad, I will be forced to have to do something I don't want to do. I, I say, don't worry about it. She'll carry me tomorrow, right? She, so, she just looks at the fire <laughs> and says, I was prepared to carry you the entire way. Aww. But this is more humiliating to see my father being carried. Avienda. So she do snorts and is just like, you're really worried about humiliating yourself and your father now, after you run away from home to play at being a spear. Well, I didn't think no one cared. No one paid attention before. She gets really quiet and just says, you know, there is someone who cared, Gofu, and then you ran away from her. Maybe she should have showed it more instead of going off and fighting. She did what she's trained to do. And I do what I thought was right. Even that is not good. the same thing, Gofu. Uh, of course, you're not listening again. Am I not listening? Or is it you who are not listening? You speak of right and wrong. What I am talking about is duty. Mm. The world rests on the shoulders of the Amazons. The world rests on the wrists of the Enkisi and the Ganga. If you do not perform your magic, if we do not defend the border, the Nightmen will overwhelm the Five Kingdoms. No, they won't, because we'll stop them. She For we are the Spears of the Dawn. Yes. <laughs> Where are the wild. Spears of the Dawn on a daily basis? Where are the Spears of the Dawn in the past 40 years? How many Spears do you think we see on the southern border? Probably not many. There has never been a single spear who has walked on the border. All of them head east, because that is what they are supposed to do. Travel into the Silent Lands, solve problems, stop bandits, enforce if order. If you haven't seen any spears, then why don't you become one? This conversation between Gofu and you is really becoming ridiculous, isn't it, though? What we should and shouldn't do, and who we are, who we aren't. That's Sounds what you like think this is all about? These decisions, these kinds of things, go through. You really think an Amazon going to protect her home is not as as important as it is coming to love you and take care of you? You're 14! Calm down! And of the end, do you really think we're out here just living it up as spears because this is so great when you've seen us pooping all over ourselves for the last five days? <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> no. It's not fantastic, <laughs> and it's not ideal, and it's not black and white. It's difficult, yeah. and it's sticky, I, and it's ugly, and it's unpleasant, and it makes no sticky. one happy. We have to figure out what works for us. I think, I think I it's so much fun to be a spear. Be the first spear to walk your borders, then. She just shrugs her shoulders and is like, why would I want to become a spear? Then shut up about it. It's not your choice, but it was ours, and it was Gofu's. The I don't reason care the spears why are would not want, on your I borders, don't. they follow their foolish tradition, like you said. But you do the same thing. You blindly follow tradition. Come out here as your order to take this boy. It's insanity. I, just say, I'm, I say I'm a man. Maybe. I don't know at this point. I feel like, very tired. I'm like, when you reach my shoulder, I will call you a man, Gofu. This will be within six or seven months. You, so, you have four 
of us who have been spears together for a quick minute. So if you've got a lot of complaining to do, why don't you just write it down and maybe we can take care of it. But this whole thing and this intense hatred you have for Spears and for people you hardly met is really just ridiculous. We can she, So yeah, she looks at you and says, you think I have intense hatred for the Spears? Well, you've no. got intense something because you've just met us and you're jumping down our throats every second. Yeah, you have a point. You got a lot of hate in your heart, lady. I have a lot of duty in my heart. Dude, she's uh, really, guys? Really? <laughs> really? No. No, not really. Didn't happen. Good. <sighs> Didn't happen. It's okay. I feel like anything I say tonight is going to just be picked apart. Everyone's going to be like, look. We are not. <laughs> we are no, not duty-less. Yeah. We're past this, Arthur. Everything's okay. We are not duty-less. And I look at my companions and don't even say it. <laughs> We got stuff to do. I don't know what you're talking about, Abelia. That's exactly correct. We are. We have our own obligations to each other, to the Spears, and why we even started this in the first place. We got to go kill a whole bunch of Eternals. You want to come help us do that? I wanted to, but she kind of shrugs her shoulders and is like, "I've always wondered how good I would be against an Eternal." You should come with us then. You can test your might. I wish that I could. How about this? You bring, um, hold on. Some wait, of your wait. what? Why can you not? Because when I return Gofu to the town, I must report back for duty. Your duty is to us now, because you have to protect Gofu, because he will not be able to grow up unless somebody protects him. I guess. I agree. That is why his father will protect him. No, 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 no. He still Once has to I return to the town, all of the messengers will be recalled. My unit will be reformed. Gofu will be married, and then he and and his wife will come with me to the border, and we will protect everyone. You know I'm not going to the border, right? If I marry this chick, I'm so glad. She nods, and she's just like, I think that you believe that. Yeah. Well, then he just won't get married. (laughs) She she laughs, and then is like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, I don't disparage the Spears of the Dawn. I'm sure what you do you think is important. And yes, there are probably Eternals out there. But a theoretical Eternal is definitely not worth four Nightmen in the night. The threat we face is very real and very present. And it doesn't sleep underneath the earth. It crawls in the southern jungle. Do we know what they're talking about? By the way, what is a nightmare yeah. anyway? I thought it was nightmen. Night. We know nightmen. Yeah, so I know no nightmen. one's really sure what the nightmen are, but they're pretty much do nightly raids all up and down the southern border of Lacosa. Uh, and so and so I mean that's why the Lacosans have the slave trade, because they sacrifice the slaves to power their magic with the slaves' blood. And use that to strengthen the magic at the border to help the Amazons fight stronger. Oh, fair enough. So they Seems... kill, you know, they kill yeah, dozens of people monthly. They are, yeah. Amazons kill nightmen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, in this, like... In the uh, south, south, south. Also, they kill people to take power. To help be able to kill them. So Blood magic. Blood magic. You know how Kareem feels about blood magic. Yeah. So, th- I'm. I can tell you that we are not unfamiliar with nightmen. We're also not unfamiliar with other monsters that attack our I villages, just, kill our people. No, I just thought. I just thought nightmen were a type of eternal. That's just my. No, fault. no, they're they're like snake people. Oh, they're right. snake people. Okay, that makes sense now. Fair yeah. enough. So there's several. So there's eternal that are sort of like the foundational threat to everybody but then there's these kind of other you know beasts yeah. in the wild legendary beasts in right the wild. and then snake there's the snake men who <laughs> bat, so the thing about eternal is that creatures. most of them sleep under the ground and they only show up when someone wakes them up and the magical beasts that roam the land are, are generally dealt with by spears of the dawn but the nightmen are a constant and consistent threat It's not like, oh, we killed a bunch of nightmen, now they're not going to attack tonight. It's more like we killed a bunch of nightmen, 
guess we'd better be ready to kill some more tomorrow night. They're coming. Fair so, we understand. This is not... These nightmares are for everyone. They're not just relegated to you, Avienda. Kareem is, like, visibly trying not to get pissed off. Um, yeah. My question is, we have to work out, it seems to me, the difficulty is going to be Gofu's duty to his family that he was promised to marry, and he's already accepted the oath of the Spears of the Dawn. So which one trumps which? You're well, telling me... So that a 14-year-old's oath to a military organization is viable. That any child who says that they are a spear can just become one. Do you understand what that can do to the foundation of our society? I, you're right. The kind right. of precedent I, you're setting? What is... Do I know how? What's who's the youngest spear is? Mm, you can check your knowledge, certainly, yes. Uh, it okay. would be intelligence, and I feel like it would be... I get it. Well, I get a plus one for intelligence. Yeah, it's going to be a culture roll of some kind, almost certainly. Well, I don't have any co bonus in culture other than Meru, so it'd just be 2d6 plus one for my intelligence. Point. Yeah, just go ahead and roll that. There isn't a, a culture spears. Yeah. Okay. May I try uh, sure. I don't know if I know that who's the... Yeah, so both of you know that Gofu is the youngest spear, uh, at least in the last generation. Oh. By far. He's at least four years younger than what most people would normally consider the age of the okay. spear. Um. So this is a, this is a, you pose a f fantastic question of the end of. <laughs> but also i like to say how many kids can breathe fire right and how many like and isn't he also getting married off or is that later i, mean, I can't remember if that's actually that's happening. supposed to happen like now yeah, yeah but yeah. He, that's what that's what, not what he wants <laughs> not what he wants yeah no, so it's just like avienda is like now you understand my dilemma would you mind if i just went over there and went to sleep while you talk it over with your companions are you really going to sleep? Are you? Well, unfortunately, I'm too tired to care, so do what you do. So we have to... Well, go for <laughs> You have the <laughs> distinction of being the youngest spear in a generation. Apparently. You're also a royal young man, betrothed, betrothed, and with an oath to the spears. So... How do we work this out? Kareem, well, I'm not quite sure there's a blade answer to this one. I don't think killing all the Amazons and Gofu's father is going to work. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Miss the we Universe. Can... I, I'm going to call him The Universe. That's his title. Like, you probably the have universe. another first name. The Universe. This is how powerful he is. We just see like stars coming from the sky when you start casting magic. The universe is coming down on us. Yeah, that's it's not, not like we couldn't try to overpower Avienda, and I'm saying this not trying to be quiet about what I'm saying. <laughs> why would that be an option? There's four of us, and she may hurt some of us, but with a little charm here and there, we may overcome. Yeah, but I that think is she, also not an option. she rolls over and she's like, yes, you can probably take me. I'll, I'll kill at least one of you. Probably yeah, that's, Kareem. That's not Shouldn't, what we want. <laughs> Shouldn't we just wait until we get to the father and find out what's going on? Maybe there's somebody we can talk to. So she I'm stretches doing? out and rolls back over again. Sure. Yeah, I've that's what other I mean my is... friends being dead. That's why I <laughs> left. I think we need to just, uh, I think we just need to sleep. We've had a rough couple of days, a rough week. I think we just need to sleep. Only some of us had nookie lately, so. No, that's uh, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> that's happening. Um, it's happening yeah. later. 
So my biggest fear is that we go to Gofu's dad and he's immediately taken away. So how can we avoid that? We talk a good game. Uh. Or maybe we you don't go into the village and we meet him on your behalf as your emissaries. I don't know. It's just options. Hmm. Well, there is a tradition of you know, Adam and Kai, that two. No, that's not a thing. <laughs> lore, I'm just making up lore. Doing. Um, like Adam this, Kai. it's. I feel not quite right about taking him straight to the arms of his father when I have we to don't agree know with you. we don't know his intention. Uh you yourself, I, you I say don't... you're not familiar with your father, yes, Kofu? No, what if women. What was that? <laughs> I know he likes women. Is that kind of well, well we know he's a human male <laughs> with many children who you don't see. Let's go Let's, and Ibelia just tries to go back to sticking with the facts. I can imagine a scenario where, since they've sent one of their best warriors to go find you, that when we get there, you're just immediately swooped upon and taken. And I'm yes, not quite sure. it's for consolidation of power. I mean, he wants, he needs to marry into the Amazons and consolidate power, and that's most likely what he's come to do, sure. not to yeah. have go food. discourse. Here's a crazy idea. Could you marry her and come at, with us anyway? Uh, you see me like Punda, like. I kind of like look towards the Amazon chick. <laughs> Is that a problem? Like, like, what if we just. You marry Abelia real quick, like. <laughs> <laughs> I get hitched. Hey, what, I that? Her, what about. I give, I give her the baby that? and I dip out. Uh, she just oh remains gosh. attempting to sleep. <laughs> I know you're awake, woman. <laughs> Gofu, it would be a marriage of convenience, and I would expect you to do the dishes, but... Still, <laughs> oh, it's shit. a logical option. I'm not, not saying... Abelia taking one for the team! Done. MVP! Done. How old is Abelia? So, He's 14. I can have many houses. I can never see husbands. 18, life. nothing but a number. <laughs> I have many fathers. I can reach as many husbands as just fine. <laughs> she's wait, not wait, just... Wait. Did I just miss something? Kareem next. Wait, were you, were you zoning I out? I think I just zoned out. I was looking <laughs> nah, at nah, nah. This is This is going full. Full 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Like. Yeah, Abelia <laughs> has offered to marry you. No, it has been offered on my behalf, but yeah. I'm not objecting. Yeah. If that's, I mean, if it's, I'm looking. I'm, it's on the I'm table now, Goku. Radical solutions to problems. Yeah. I don't know what's happening tonight. I've lost so control of the that show. That is, that is. Me like, me oh, like, oh, like he had control of the show at some point. Yeah. Remember that thirty minutes last what? week that we kept and, talking. And why are you marrying her? Is it to, you know, the to continue the bloodline? What if we made you sterile? Then hope oh, no bloodline. <laughs> How do you plan on making him sterile? I could punch him a lot. <laughs> he was like, oh. He's like, he like, that Goku's curse. like, again. He's just, she's chuckling like, now. Did, she's saying, radical. He did enjoy being slapped a little bit too much, I thought earlier. <laughs> radical. <-like? laughs> just, you know, I mean, just throwing I, out options. I just have that feeling, like, right now, I'm just feeling it right now. Like, when my friends told me what happened after we wait for four hours. What they do to you that that feeling right now <laughs> you know look I, we're, we're not taking the sharpie to your face while you're sleeping we're having these conversations with you while you're awake about punching you repeatedly to make you <laughs> sterile I, <laughs> I don't think any of these are good ideas i'm actually literally crying at the <laughs> painful thought of that <laughs> It's going to be awful. I'm but if he's trying. getting, he's arranged as a politically arranged marriage, so that way he can have babies. Can I, then can I roll like babies. a check to like maybe know about some way to do that without that happening, like an herb or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. I feel thing? like an herb would be a really what good cop out here. This shouldn't be a thing. Radical <laughs> idea. You guys. Here we go. Medicine. I have a plus one. Why wouldn't you just do the varies? Just... Four. I'm like, yeah, punch him in the nuts real good. <laughs> you see Gofu's like, 
We will yeah. not I fucking rolls today. I like to say, like, after I marry her, I can't marry again because of the whole bloodline thing. Just FYI. So it is a bloodline thing. Yes. So, so if I were to marry her, give her the kid, and then marry you, I can say, hey, I wish to protect this wife and go about our business. That's an option. That is an option. It would, what I'm trying to do... Now, Look, the last thing I want, also Gofu, is while I'm trying to establish trade routes for Meru, is make an enemy out of a royal family in Lakosa. Not a good idea. No. You would you could even establish that trade route. If we can peacefully manage to negotiate Gofu. Exactly. So <laughs> let's but, like I said, let's just see what happens. We can all go together. If things get too crazy, we can always find a way out of things. We've we've managed before, we can manage again. That is correct. So we think sometimes think on our feet. We sometimes think better than feet. Have we have we actually th thought on our feet? Have we really? <laughs> no, we think it through. You know, we mm. we we were talking about setting people on fire in, in front of a life priestess while we were in her temple, so. <laughs> we are, you know. <laughs> Again, I don't want to kill people. I don't want Gofu to be hurt. I don't, Gofu, I don't want you to be forced into something you don't want to do. But I agree with Naomi, maybe just meeting with your father is going to be the way to go. And then, you know, will we have a plan B? Like, do, you know. Yeah, we have a plan B. There's always a plan B. Her, plan B her is, ghost? I, I have my I have my oh, stuff no. and we we high tech it out of there. <laughs> spear, yes. you know, spear issues come up and we need to leave all four of us. That's true. What are the other options? Gofu is your father, someone who respects the spears of the dawn. Maybe he would think that your commitment to the spears trumps your commitment to the marriage. Well, I know two of my other brothers. The Third son and the fifth son are spears. Mm. I don't know if there's anything we can leverage there, you know? Try to get them to see our way of things. Yeah, and our way of things is Gofu doesn't want to be in an arranged marriage, so we're trying to support him in that, right? Well, is it is it not that he actually has to like? It sounds like he doesn't have to like actually live there. I, I don't. That's what you guys that. are talking yourselves into believing. Yes. Yeah, no, I guess. I mean, I don't know. We're asking Gofu. Gofu, like, hey, well, are there other things we could do? I mean, if she just what, needs what, to be knocked up, could that happen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can like, make a, a culture uh, Lacosa role, and you could take a plus one on this because you're a noble. Could, okay, you know, just giving her a baby be a thing? Yeah, you yeah. add and... intelligence. Woo! He passes. Yeah. Uh, Seems like babies yeah. have a lot of problems in this game. If you if go back are... to your father, you're probably never leave. They're definitely going to marry you and send you off to the front line. No matter what you say. Mm. Like, this is, this is, your whole life has been planned out for you, and this is the next step, is... Your training as a frontline spirit sorcerer will be So gained. then we convince Avienda to come with us. Or go away. Or make her forget she ever saw us. Naomi? Oh, we can definitely take care of this. Yeah. What is, is it going to get? I feel we like Gofu might be holding a knife when she says that. Yeah. We we should go. We should go and visit these people, and we should find out what exactly is going on. Yeah. Gofu. I'm sure we could talk some sense into them. I prefer talking over murdering her. I do, as I kind of, like, stare but at her, this, know her. This is tradition, right? We're it, going against... Thousands of years of tradition. You yes. forget, these are also the people that I come from, too. I do have some sway, for I do hold the magic, Baba. and I am a royal as well. I'm like, what? I just yeah. kind of, I smile sweetly over at Kareem. I'm like, oh. 
could she oh, have an axe? My little princess. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, wow, Blush yeah, you and I were thinking about the same thing, Riga. I was just going to say, <laughs> could she have an accident, maybe? And then I look over and just stab her in her sleep. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, mm -hmm. we're thinking of the same brain, chat. We're thinking of the same brain. Yeah. Um, you know. I mean, she rolled over onto a large sword in the night while resting. Yeah, she fell down an elevator shaft on yeah. some bullets. Here. <laughs> <Just some bullets. laughs> yeah. I like that one. I, you know, I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not confident that going against many, many, many decades of generations of tradition is gonna work out in our favor if we don't have an actual plan. Ibilia, Ibilia, <laughs> calm down. Have I ever steered us wrong before? <laughs> The answer is no. You're not supposed to be laughing. <laughs> Damn. I don't laugh. I don't laugh. I, I, Kareem. Just for <laughs> I'm sorry. But we're not exactly the picture of heroes. <laughs> well, we might not be, but I still haven't. I've not let us down so far. I'm sure that if anything bad happens, I can get us out of it. I've done it before. I can do it again. <laughs> I do believe in her. She is a good I'm, talker. She really is. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see me start yelling like, uh, God, I could use some magic right now. I could use um, a miracle. A miracle. We, we really are going to yeah, uh, have to. Yes. Could we ask your father meet us one-on-one -on -one so that we don't go into an area where he's got most of his guards? I'm assuming he travels with. Uh, does my father have guards at the high ranking Gunga? Um, I'm going to throw that question back to you. Would he travel with guards? Uh, I guess two, technically, you know. You have to have that meat shield, I guess. Okay. All right. Then, yeah, he does. got to have a meat shield. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting to know how powerful your father is that he wouldn't travel with, like, a large army. He's just like, yeah, I'm basically in my own army. That's, uh, yeah, that's I, um, why he's called the universe. Cool. Also, I thought you said meat show like no. gun show not meat shield oh i was like yeah, he has a meat show he's got no. trouble the meat show <laughs> that's <laughs> derogatory towards what us. is happening in the show tonight it's just so <laughs> it's everybody we're playing it. okay we're secretly playing I'm telephone a lot of and you don't right know now, it yeah, yeah he's on I drugs know, right? we're, i'm, I'm, I'm taking a drugs. lot of cough medicine you. right now drug, i mean man. i don't we're just gonna watch the video on demand and instantly regret everything <laughs> Wherever we meet, it needs to be someplace that maybe is in our favor. So perhaps not someplace that he's comfortable with. Uh, something, if we're going. Well, he just, they're on they're on the borders. They're not exactly comfortable. We're in between yeah. Meru and Lakosa. The best of both worlds. That's a good point. Go fool. If your Thank father you. forcefully tried to take you back, what would you have us do? I would probably you because I prefer not having my real friends die. I say that really loud for she can hear that. Hmm. All right. And I would probably I'll join agree, you. Yeah. About, I'll probably join y'all again in four years. In what? season two. Um. Season two. <laughs> it's season two. Oh. Yeah. Is, you know, is, you know, sterilization is off the table? Okay. Any other radical ideas? <laughs> like, Why I, do they I have actually radical? think that's like, the best what idea happens we have. If, what happens Can we think? Have, what happens if you have a baby before the marriage? What happens then? What? I'm going to have to think on that one. Yeah, we yeah. need to find a way to break this. I mean, um, if it. You're at a spear, and if you knock somebody else up, hey, we can see. Naomi's got a kid. Nobody has to know who it really came from. Oh, no, 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 no. None of you guys know about that. Just Kareem knows about this. True. We have not mentioned it to anybody. <laughs> Remember that. Mm -hmm. No, no, it Secret. was you guys were Secret. talking in front of Ida, Ida Shay, Ida Sean, about did okay. we do anything? I dash no, said, do, yeah, do we do anything? And she didn't. Yes. She said she no. didn't say whether or not. She said no. And yeah, Ibelia there was no just, definitive. Ibelia is just poking fun at you guys based uh, on that. Naomi oh. reacts. So if you, yeah, if you're getting defensive, she's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. The best. 
That was me, not Naomi. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's more like, hey, you know. Put, yeah, nudging with the elbow. Like, she's really just joking. She doesn't think anything. Uh, uh, Billy! But it came up. <laughs> Goodness gracious. First, you want to go and take Keikofu's manhood? Anything? And then you want to marry him yourself? Take it. Girl. Where are you There's... coming from? Ever since we got back from Spider, you have been off the hook. It's... <laughs> I'm thinking of radical ways. What is keeping Gofu tied to this bond of his that he has to marry this Amazon woman and a way to get around that? Maybe we can talk her out of it. That's true. We have talking as an option. Yes. We have a hostage negotiation. Maybe we keep, you know, Gofu and... Go in and talk to his father ourselves, and then we'll go and see him. We should, or sleep. you know, Gofu goes, and he's we're completely overwhelmed, and they kill us and take Gofu anyway. Oh no! They I don't think that's going to be a thing. I think or we'll Gofu be fine. can't fulfill his obligation somehow. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. It's sleep, so- woman. Sleep. <laughs> So, uh, Gofu, I've had some time to think about it. Even if you had a child outside of wedlock, that's not the issue. Nope. They definitely want you to have a child with her and then teach it to become a great and powerful uh, Ganga like you. But what's also important is that you and her go on the front lines together and fight your way through the Nightmen. Like, the child is important, but it's not... It's not the whole package deal there. It's not the whole package deal. It's like, mm. well, before this night, if, if I do go marry her, I'm going to make her life a living hell. <laughs> Fighting on the front lines <sighs> is another What if the child is born and doesn't have powers? What if we dress someone up like Gofu? <laughs> yes, that's the idea. <laughs> These ideas... They're Your good. father won't know what you look like anyway, right? So what difference does it make? Yeah. That's a good point. I mean, they haven't seen you in a while, so... We just hire they... some guy and have him pretend to be go God. Hey. Damn it's it. a radical it's... option. It's quite logical. I think oh. we are still on the lost. I think that is what's happening here. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared, too. <laughs> And then, then sleep and dream of baby goats. I'm scared for Gofu. I'm scared for us. I'm scared we'll for figure out. We'll figure out Avienda. We'll oh yeah, by the way, when we hit the borderland, I, I want my stuff back so I can stop being drained. I'm okay. scared. And we'll keep walking after that. It's like, yes, my match is coming back. Could we... We, haven't, we haven't hit the border yet, so chill your shit. Yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> can we magically... Are you guys going to kidnap another 14-year-old from another oh, village? God damn it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we magically impregnate her? Oh, God. No. The magic. Nope. Okay. If that's not just, again, a radical... This solution. isn't that kind of game. You might want to play GURPS or something. GURPS. <laughs> <laughs> Gofu oh, has to do the deed, clearly, so. Apparently, um, I gotta go fight snake people. And you gotta fight snake people. It's such a power. <sighs> Weak sauce. I'm right. really starting to think not- the best plan is to just kill kill her and get the fuck out of here. I I'm think worried. Gonna, here's the thing, I mean, the before. universe gets what the universe wants, is, is what they say. So... <laughs> Very worried. We're just going to lose one Gofu and gain nothing. Yeah, I don't mind roll up a new character, but you know, <laughs> it's I not don't okay think with that me. will happen. Why don't we just leave now? Why don't we, Gofu? What do you want to do? He Seriously, wants to see his father. Though. Then I he wants to see, see his father. father. Then let's go. Let them. Let the man decide his own fate. We will save oh. him. We will get him out of this. He will get himself out of this. Probably he is powerful too. enough. If he has his his little uh, totem, but still, he, we cannot get them back. 
she'll she'll give it back at the border because she had no choice. True. She has to listen yeah. ultimately. Okay. Go fu. Mm, okay. But then we're already in the border. Not yet. Not yet. You're only halfway there. Mm. No, but I'm saying when he gets them, we're already in, like in their land, which is just bummer. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Mm. At least he can get them. It's your time to own it, Gofu. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna go to my father and see, like, what the hell. All right. You don't give a damn. Before we get there, are there any other scenes people want to have while traveling? She's carrying me at this point. I'm gonna start secretly looking at my notes. Okay. I really don't want anybody else to look at them, but I don't know. Do you speak I eternal? Out? Do I? Let's see. I don't. <laughs> think so. Let me the see. only Let me just one. make sure it's not on my thing. Do we each have our own tents? I I uh I mean I actually have uh, oh no wait maybe I don't have a tent maybe I just have a bed no board. I don't have a tent I don't have anything tent so you guys just travel half speed all day carrying heavy stuff eating <laughs> scrub off the land yeah hunting for food yeah, yeah. yeah. it's pretty <laughs> rough you have no <laughs> money I have well, money we you have, have money. fifty have silver I have, I have fifty silver. I think I have a few bucks. You never go on jobs. You just <laughs> wander across the land <laughs> dealing with each other's emotional issues. Yes. Yeah. You did this to us, Arthur. You did this to us. I didn't do <laughs> shit. The drama of the job. You brought us together. Uh, do it for the family. Artist, the family. business, <laughs> culture, Sakone. Culture, Meru, language, Shikone, da ba ba. No, nothing nope. culture. All right, you're unable to read any of these scribbles. It does look very close to Meruin, but it's been altered in a way that puts it into almost code like form. Does it look, does it change any shape or form since the last time I saw it? Does it look the same? It looks the same. Okay, fine. That's fine. I just sort of peek at it and then. In Merowyn, you do notice that the names of you and your entire close family, like Keb and your brothers and sisters and yeah. all of your many fathers, are all all there with like notations next to them. Uh, is there someone in my village that speaks Eternal, or would they not speak Eternal? No, no one speaks Eternal. Okay. Uh, incidentally, I think that on more than one occasion, Gofu has indicated he speaks Eternal. Yes, I know. I'm not <laughs> no, quite sure yet. Except for that one guy that's actually in your party. Um, <laughs> that actually does speak it. Yeah. No, I think I might. Uh, I might have to bring these out. I wasn't, didn't want to, but if I can't get it in my village, I think that was my last, my thought. Then I will have to share this. I say okay. Uh, Wait, before you go to sleep, and before I punch you hard in the nuts, Gofu, <laughs> and we have to off to your dad. Um, you ever watch Street Fighter? I mean, play Street Fighter 4. There's a character <laughs> named Makoda. Her special is basically super nut punch of two. Oh, God. And we just, just like, and it's the best I'm thing so about sorry. it. so sorry. Her setup is she basically she grapples you and choke you out. Yeah. And like, We're done. done. We're done talking about it. Move on. Yep. Let's move on. Un uncomfortable. Um, I would like to show you guys these. So while we were covered in our own poop and drooling, God damn it. I made this. We're doing this now. Yeah, because I don't think I'm gonna get another chance. I think Gofu is gonna get is gonna get snagged. And I don't know uh, anybody that speaks Eternal. So it's pretty much right. exactly what I say to you guys. You see Goku, like, uh, have a stick and, like, wobbling a little bit, trying to get towards it. Yeah. I'm getting too old for this crap. So there you go. <laughs> and I start, well, you see me, like, look at it, then my eyes get, like, super big, and I start uh, translating. Is that fine? Yeah, so these papers are the the kind of formulas that's needed to transform oneself into an eternal it, it's uh. like <coughs> ripping your own soul from your body and then stuffing it back in 
there's a lot of very forbidden magical rites here, but it looks like just about anyone could do it. You had a priest to do it. That's a death. Don't even need to be a priest. Just oh. just a regular person could perform these rites with certain materials readily available across the land, and some time and the right uh, like weather patterns and land locations. You could do this. Wait a minute. And there's a lot of very complex variables involved because it has to take into account like your height, your weight, uh, bone density, and like other really advanced medical stuff that the people of this time don't really have access to. But on these papers, all of that information has already been calculated for Abelia's family. So she I have a question. It. She could do it. With, with this information... And a turn that's already made, can I rip their soul out again? No. The only time, way so. to stop an Eternal is to remove their head and destroy it. Okay, so you have to just, well, can you just destroy it, or you have to either remove that part? It has to be, well, yeah, I guess you could just destroy it. So if you remove like, the head from the body, then the body can't do anything anymore. Go for your sharing what you are translating. I give it to specifically her, per se. Like, I give her the notes as I finish off, like, give it to her, give it to her, and I nod to her. It's yours to share, not mine. Aww. But, but this is really how to turn into an eternal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll yes. be able to live forever with this. But don't forget the side effects. Munchies. Oh my god. But there's a reason I was handed this because of what I'm trying to do with my family. Yeah, you asked for how you could save your your family. So you were yeah. given that knowledge. You could save them forever. Forever. Uh. There are no diseases. You don't get older. You don't waste away. Unless you stop drinking human blood. Mm. And Gofu mm. could be your blood bank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you kind of like raise an eyebrow. But I'm trying to figure out the long history of my family. My ancestors. This well, would make your... me my ancestor. My own ancestor, essentially, yeah. is what this would be. Well, it... <laughs> If you remember, you asked for everything, and the only way for you to save your family plus learn something would be to live long enough to trace that back. To, yeah, exactly. That's, That's why what you it were was. given this. It would be for me to be. Yeah, it would be for me to do this, so that way I could have the time that I needed. Oh, to unlock the secrets of. Uh, uh, also, I think you'd get resistance to piercing damage, right? I mean, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> the R is always good. So, obviously, I'm totally not going to be turning myself into an Eternal tonight. Or probably tomorrow. But I have to say, I am very much considering it. Okay, but only you and I Gofu know about this, right? You see me put my hand on you. I prefer you the way you are. That's just my preference. I no. I tell. I'm, I'm saying it to the group. Where unless you guys have left the fire, we're no, talking. No, no. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like because he handed you the papers. Yeah. I just wasn't so sure and I asked. Well, it this doesn't seem my place to you know say that loud. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Well, I'm not sharing the recipe, but I'm saying is this can turn someone into an eternal. I have now know how to do this. Uh, do I know anything about, like, Eternals losing their, like, sense of self, Arthur? No. Or, they, no. They, at, at, if they don't drink blood, then yes, they start to sleep until they get more blood. Uh, yeah, so I'm just like, well, you know, they <laughs> yeah, turn, turn someone into a, a blood-drinking monster, right? I mean, this is terrifying why why where where did you get this well i was lost 
<laughs> the things you find when you're lost. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? It's a beautiful day. But yeah. yeah. I start yawning. I need some sleep. Unlimited power. Um. <laughs> wow. That, like... So, Arthur, as far as I know, I would just, like... Well, that's crazy. That's so OP. But then you have to drink blood. But then there also could but be other things that happen to it, too. So, I mean... Well, look... Mayor, so our... Our... Ancestors fought against this... You know, Kareem. It's just not, you know... Yeah, I know. I, I wasn't saying anything. I was just like... And... and and what the spears are for are literally antithesis to, to this. But there's no denying that I'm still intrigued by the possibility of being able to have all the time to find out what I need to know. And how to Did help and drink, how to fix this. Do you have to drink human blood or just blood in general? Human blood. Uh, could she like do it now? Does she like know it? Does she still need the papers? Yeah, it's rather complicated. Okay. Like, That's why there's, yeah. like, hundreds of papers involved. I'm in just it. like, this this collection of papers is not safe. What if what if someone else gets a hold of it? And I, like, just motion to the, the girl sleeping. Hacienda. Did you say hey, Hacienda? <laughs> she Whatever did say name it. <laughs> What's her name? Avienda. 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 <laughs> Drugs in my are other game, my... Drugs are talking. <laughs> in my other game, my players name one of my characters Pablo Escobar. So. <laughs> That's a good. <laughs> His name was Escobert, but you know, there you go. I think of the gnome from Shackles in the first book. <laughs> it's a, it, Kareem. It's a good. It's a good point, and I'd ask all of you to respect this. I know this is massive and enormous i don't want to destroy it now and it can't get into the wrong hands so we have to protect it i'm asking for your help in it i won't do anything with it i'll let you know what happens okay. you might have to <laughs> maybe it's safest if you just give me you know one piece so that if you need to do something you can take it back but if something's taken from you or me not everything is gone and it's not you know if if you have everything someone take your bag then they have it maybe we should split it up you know what Kareem I... and that's how public trusted keys were invented <laughs> yeah I trust all of you this is very important to me and so I Actually, divide it up into four pieces. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, and like, give uh, a quarter rep. to Gofu and Kareem and Naomi and keep a quarter myself. Yeah, I carefully wrap it up in like some of my, uh, my like another shirt or whatever. And, and I say, bag. before I understand some of you may be compelled to destroy it, but before you do, can we talk? I'm just asking for a little time. That's all. Yes. This is this is your future. I'm not. I'm it's not mine to take. But I'm, I'm. I'm offering it to you to help me protect myself. Don't worry. I'll be back in four years. As I kind of joke about. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? They can't hold me down. By that <laughs> time, I'll have so much magic. I could take the whole. That's it. That's. People, things, yada yada yada. I don't know at this point. <laughs> You're sleepy. <laughs> we all need to sleep. We've been up for entirely too long. That's yes, right. oh, we've been up. We've been <laughs> we've been out for three days. <laughs> we've been no, delirious we were awake, for three we were days. Awake we were awake for three right? days. Yes. Yeah, Arthur? we were awake for a week. Yeah, apparently. Arthur. Right. It had yeah. like. Methamphetamine or something yeah. in there, man. <laughs> Meth I thought it was a sleep of papers drug. and drooling. <laughs> yeah, that would you when you got knocked out at the end, you got knocked like, body out. adjusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I um, yeah. So, yeah, I trust you. 
I trust all of you. All right, we want to okay. jump to the meeting at the border. Yeah, no. I feel much better having that split right. up so someone can't steal it. So I think we see Gofu with all of his gear back and his totems hanging off of him. And there's, there's like, um, out of like mahogany and like jungle woods, just this dark, dark, peak kind of structure that's a dojo. And uh, Gofu like enters it proudly walking. Uh, maybe Abelia, Kareem, and Aomi are like behind him in like arrow formation. They go inside, and there's a man sitting down with the oak's crest on the back of his robe. We're in the flying V, Arthur. Yeah, flying V. Uh, <laughs> when he stands up and turns around, you see it's not your father, Gofu. It's your grandfather. Uh, you see me just see this, this big side, like, he really didn't come. And I came all the way here as I kind of look back to the Amazon lady. She, she left like she said she would she brought you to the border and then immediately diverted south to go back to do her duty okay it's like he did not even show up for this yes grandfather oaks oh your father was here all right boy i came to replace him after i got the news news so he turns and looks at Abelia and says, What what do you have to say for yourself, girl? Nope. Do you have any idea what you've done? Pardon me, sir, I don't even know who you are. You don't know who I am. Other you than try to you try to make trade deals through my outpost. Ooh. With the master of merchants, or with yes, the prince of lies, Meru, through Meru, yes, you remember all of that now. Sorry, I was a little uh, out of it. I've not forgotten. I just don't understand how you're involved. And it, he takes a couple breaths and just kind of looks around. And he's like, "You don't." I don't understand how I'm involved. Oh, damn. No, sorry. Yeah, I'm I was surprised you're by... here. Do you know Oops. what happened to that girl? To the Prince of Lies' daughter? Oh, yes. Menkar. Do you know how many pieces he sent her back in? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Can you use that spell on the pieces to bring her back <laughs> to life? <laughs> yeah. Maybe like, I mean, yeah. we could deliver her in one piece. That's a totally a side thing, but yeah, that's not. That's not that's a bad not, idea. That you can't do that. She's it dead. Be a person. She's dead. You have to be alive when it happens. Uh, I, is there anyone else around? I, there's the two guards, probably. I am. There's no guards in here. It's just, it's just him. I am holding myself together, really trying to hold myself together, and I say, I still don't understand why you're involved. I'm here to say goodbye to my grandson. When you leave this dojo, you are no longer one of us. What you have done, Gofu, of not Oaks, is a crime that is completely unforgivable. Hmm. The border between our kingdom and Meru, the border between our kingdom and Sakone has been shut down. Trade deals which have been in place for generations have been broken. This Prince of Lies, this very important man from the middle cities oh is my very God. very powerful and very upset you and your friends trapezing around making oaths not following them well now you're going to have to follow your oath for the rest of your life you want to be a spear be a spear you are no longer welcome in the Kosa. 
Fair enough. Just remember, old man, you chose this. You think I chose this? I just walk out. Yeah, so, like, a as you're leaving, he, like, breaks his solid thing, and he's like, Wait! You think I chose this, Gofu? I keep walking. I came here to give my grandson one last hug before he left me forever. This was not my decision. Maybe you should have hugged me when I was little instead of backhanding me. And he just, just kind of stands there stunned. Perhaps there's, there's like... The scene where he's standing like next to Kareem and Kareem is looking into the dojo and he's looking out of the dojo towards Gofu. I know where my fight is. It was a rare threat. And I just walk out and just call it a day. So he turns toward Abelia and, and just says, I too know where the real threat is. The Spears of the Dawn are supposed to unite instead of divide. They follow their oaths. I know who the real threat is, Abelia Bello. You have 24 hours to exit Lakosan lands. You and all of your companions, including Gofu, now have death sentences within Lakosa. I will get to the bottom of this. This alleged care. murder. Alleged. You don't have facts, or you'd show them to me. You just have stories. Everybody else's stories. When I prove you wrong, we'll see what happens next. My father will hear of this. They can scare you so easily with a bunch of talk. I have some stories of my own. Just, I try to keep a straight face, but Chad is losing their shit over yeah. job. They're also having some issues. We don't know what happened to Sasahi. Whoa, Goku's, kind of, uh, Goku's pissed because his dad didn't actually show up. It's like he actually show interest and it's like, Really, Grandfather? <clears throat> I don't actually know how to end this scene right here. Like, uh, do, do we I, end with the rest think, of you leaving the temple while he just well, kind yeah, of stares think, solemnly at you? Yeah, I think we can, like, black out on that, and then we're, like, walking right. away from the Lakosan border. Abelia's throwing mm -hmm. a lot of shade, then. Shade at yeah. you, sir. So I think as you're leaving the Lakosan border, there's like postings for jobs and like bounties for bandits, and you see this rather large price under a Gogo Walker on Twi. But you notice that they're they're like snailing up pictures of uh, Ibelia Bello, Kareem Swift, Naomi Akan, and Gofu up there with like fifty silver underneath each of your names. Tell them worth. You see me reach for the go-go? Well, we have a man to kill. That we do. And this time, we use fire. Oh, he's gonna burn. And it's gonna be... I'm trying to sign something, to say, sign something badass that 14 would say, but I can't think of anything right now. And he's gonna burn like a, a marshmallow that I wanted golden brown, but then I burned on accident. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Virgil. <laughs> there you go. Always the best. <laughs> that, that metaphor. That metaphor. I pull down all the other posters of us there. I pull the, I tear them down. Just create every, every poster. I just tear every poster down. All of them. Tear them and tear them up and tear them down and tear them up and just. Can we have like a slow motion scene here with some weird like opera music and yeah, there's a, right. a chick that's like da da yeah. da da. I think it, I think it and there's like border like, patrol drums. officials who are just like <laughs> trying to hold you back. Amelia's <laughs> <laughs> turning into an eternal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Control yourself, woman. You don't want them to yeah. know that you drink blood in the night. <laughs> You wanna play with me, a go-go? 
Let's play a go go. Let's do it. We're about to go, go go. Okay. No, I'm not crazy enough to become an eternal right now. I'm I'm more she, she I'm wondering how long it's there. gonna take. One, two sessions. My main <laughs> thought is uh is um uh, I need to confirm this. Because if that happened with uh if allegedly that's been Kari, then my father or my father's soldiers were involved, and that's a problem. Yeah, because if they cut somebody up to a million pieces, like you wouldn't know who it was. Right. That's <laughs> so, so I tear all those things down, and I'm pretty much just I go back well, to you guys, and I'm like, we we need to make sure it's her. Exactly. Me well, personally, I don't think she did because that's a that's a big bargaining tool to just throw away. That's just me. I think I would. Uh, I think I would feel if my follower was gone. I just so, think that the spirits would let me know, and they haven't. Sasahi has departed oh. this plane. <laughs> yeah, so, we have uh, 24 hours before. <laughs> 48 hours <laughs> before oh, our hostages are killed. Yeah, the clock so, is ticking on another 48 hours. So, whatever we need here, we grab. And I'm ready. I need to find out what happened. Not just to Mankari, but to the people she was traveling. We could either go back to my village, or we can just go straight for uh, a go-go. Either way, I'm fine. Uh, we should probably go for a go-go. Yeah, I, I just want to stay away go-go. from. I want to stay away from what's his name, uh, Prince of Lies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I won't go near that guy. No, no, we're not near him. He's in uh, the name of the village starts with an A, but we're not there. Okay. Amavo. Amavo. We're not going to Amavo. Yeah. That's in the opposite direction. North, I think. So what is the plan right now? Uh Here. go ahead. We're gonna go find a go go. Okay. How are you doing any, that? Any and any yeah, any kind of evidence uh, as along the way or people are talking something. I don't know how to do that actually. I run it by you guys. I say, Hey, look what's and other than asking, well, hey, did you chop up that girl? Like, huh. um, yeah. Well. Uh, we can ask in town for intel, or we can just edge straight to a go-go. Yeah, Where the could... hell is a go-go anyway? So we we'll probably need to ask in town. Yeah. Uh, is there like a... Who who's has the bounty on town? a go-go walker? Do what? Well, we can't do it in this town because we now have a bounty here. Um, so we're going to have to go to another town. Yep. But what's the name of the person who wants, who put up a GoGo's bounty? Uh, the Lakosan poster was the Lakosan State. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I feel like up. you probably saw similar posters in Sakone with the bounty giver being uh, the Prince of Lies. Yeah, see, this is our problem. And we, and to be fair, if you killed him and took him back to your own village, probably Keb would be able to arrange some suitable reward. And uh, their names? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? I said, and clear our names? Uh, in what way do you think your names need to get cleared? Well, because we're getting blamed. You know what I mean? I have a question. You have a death sentence. If Mankari actually died from this, I would... well, then yeah, that'd be our fault. <laughs> I totally would get it. Okay. All right. I, I don't think there's any way he uh, could clear if our name. If she's still alive, that. bringing her back to anyone would clear your name. Okay. Right. If she's still alive. That's if, but we have to this find out great. that too. It's all. It's right now with the grandfather's information. Unless he's got evidence, which she doesn't. It's all alleged, as far as Abelia is concerned. Yeah, so I'd, I'd just her... suggest. Yeah, I'd suggest that we ask like travelers on the road, like and and head back maybe to your village, Abelia. But we need to talk to people that are you know moving goods. Not... They'll they'll know where the rumors. They'll know people. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, so on the road. Uh, We'll we'll be looking for people and like hailing down anyone we can find that will speak with us, and that you know. 
hollering to people in trade speak. Have you heard of any uh, goings on with the bandits? So remember when you leave Lakosa, you're in Meru. Not only are there not people along the roads, there are no roads. Oh, there are no roads. Well, oh, okay. So we're going to have to wait till we get yeah. to town to talk to anybody. But there's not going to be any yeah. traders there either because we don't have any fucking trade routes. Uh, I no, mean, you if, have if, trade routes. You we... just don't have trade routes with Sakone. If we leave uh, Lakosa without asking questions, and we won't be able to go back. And while there were trade routes with Lakosa, as you were just told, the border there was shut down. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so the only trade routes would be heading north into Sakone lands. God, everyone's just like, he got a new boo. Okay. Damn it. Well. That, that's... This audience is so yeah, quick everyone. to just... Forget. <laughs> that's that person's name, Niall or Avienda. They're like, yeah, it's okay. It's cool. Yeah. The instant they show kept some walker, screw that guy. What did you I guess? have to say, I am, before we head out, I say to Kareem, I am willing to chance asking around here where we are before we leave. If you think it's wise, I will follow your lead. But uh, I don't think on the road, and once we leave here, we're going to get much more help. I don't think uh, we, so either. We have 24 hours to get out, he said, Arthur. Yep. Um, okay, let's let's just be very quick about it. We don't have a lot of time before. I these think very 50 quick. Silvers. Perfect. Then I do some. Uh, what was it? What was my skill? Uh, that's funny. Go for you don't want your charity hugs. Um. What was my skill? Persuade? Security? Uh, what is it exactly you're attempting to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Find information about uh, where's Ogogo, where's the last known location, and if anyone has heard the story of this alleged uh, chopped up person. And I'm, not, and I'm specifically saying chopped up person sent to the Prince of Thieves, not anything about or female or male okay uh there's a lot of skills this could be but primarily i think persuade is where you'd start okay do, 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 ba, bo. Ten. yeah so after the border patrol pull you off of ripping things off of the wall i've I feel like they maybe dunk you in, in like a drunk tank for a couple hours. <laughs> and you get real chatty with one of the guys in there who's a bounty hunter. He's just like strapped with empty weapon holsters all over him. You know, he's got a place for like four knives and two swords side by side on his back and an axe on his hip. And he's just like, so what are you in here for? Disturbing the peace. Mm. Like yeah, I've done that down, a few times. Ripping down posters? I do, I, ripping down posters? I don't Why know. would you do that? That's my livelihood. Here, you can have these. Is this you? Yeah. You're not worth a lot of money. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Is it just That's... me at the bounty hunter or my friends in there? It's just you. Because you're the only one who tried to rip the posters off. Yeah. He was just like... I mean... For this much money, I would not follow you across the border. You should be aware, though, that there are some who are unscrupulous. It is not considered... Illegal... For someone to trace you into other lands and then drag you back here. Slavery is, after all, legal. Oh, can we have everyone flip cameras real quick? Mm -hmm. Everyone that yeah, is using okay. cameras. Need a Virgil. And everyone should sit yeah. back into place. Yeah. 
But do I need to do something? No, I just seen Virgil turn his camera back on. Yeah, yeah. it'll come back. And eventually. then we'll be good. So, Thank you should you probably the... watch her back out there. <laughs> I'm learning that is usually the phrase of the day every day. I am hunting bigger game. I am hunting this guy. A go-go walker on Twee. I have tried to kill him twice. He is what very happened? clever. What if Gogo is the Prince of Lies? What has happened? He is very cowardly. Oh. Clever and cowardly. No, not particularly clever. He mostly seems afraid. He just ran away while his men threw stones at me. Have you, you know, heard for about a legendary bandit? He's actually pretty poorly equipped. Have you heard about this latest escapade with uh Oh yes, yes. Chopping up people? Yes. <clears throat> it is some sort of wicked tradition. I understand some sort of Sakone warning. He cut the girl's head off and sent back all of her fingers and and feet. What Digits? girl? Uh, the the hero of Amavo they call her. I don't know her name. How do I find out if? I just don't believe it. Not for a coward like Gogo. That he would actually chop somebody up and send them to another city. I am often surprised by him. Considering how little money he has and the number of caravans he hits, I don't know where he's putting his cash. Maybe he hopes to turn in his bounty himself one day? He's a very strange man. What's your... bail? Bail? To get out of here. Oh. Uh, uh, they will let me out by tomorrow morning. I was caught... Well. It involved a priestess's daughter and two goats. Oh, goodness. What? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Don't ask. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, like, this is the first time he showed a lot of animation, and he's like... And I thought I liked goats. He's blushing. Goodness. Uh, Virgil, were you flipping your cam back on? I Oh, did it not? No, it's, no, I we're all... Not. We're disjointed. There we go. Everyone oh. snapped back into place. Hmm. Where's the best place to find a Gogo, do you think? We've been kind of out of the loop, so I don't know where to find him. Oh, I know exactly where to find him. Well, I mean, within like a 30-mile area. You're going to need to cross the border here and then go directly north. He likes to hide, and he begins describing location. Can you make a, a navigation check real quick? No, actually, I think I have that twice. Nav I sure do. Yep, and it'll navigation. Be with intelligence. Navigation. Okay, roll good. Roll another one. Roll. Push up. Roll good. Ah, uh, five. Okay. Yeah, you're not like, really what? sure exactly where a go go is, but you recognize the general area as being within the pink rhombus. Mm -hmm. Any likelihood that you want to come on a third hunt? Third time's a charm, I hear. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> Why are you in here again? Who? What is your crime that they put the bounty on you? I don't know. What does the paper say? I read the paper. What does it say? Uh, it just lists you as being an enemy of the state. Yeah. Enemy of the state. What does his paper say? Does he have one? Oh, he's so he's not a bounty. He's just he is a bounty hunter who was caught in oh, a. Oh, he doesn't have it right. He's just compromising caught. position. So there you go. The goat position. 
He was like enemy of the state, huh? That that seems pretty serious. You'll understand okay. if I don't decide to follow someone I met in a strange jail. With a bounty on her head. To go out a bandit? That sounds like a good way for me to get my throat slit in the middle of the night. <laughs> you are wise, sir. Well, if I was... Never mind. But I'll try to do better next time, at least. I'm a spear of the dawn. I am you not think I would lock the door? <laughs> oh, my. I'm a spear of the dawn. I'm not a murderer, despite... <laughs> or an enemy of the, spit, the state, despite what this paper might say. People get a little too dramatic, it would seem, and are scared easily these days. Well, it is strange that they threw you here in the drunk tank rather than, you know, execute you. Right. I'll say that. Is she the only one in the jail? Yeah, it's just her and him. Oh. We're like, well, waiting for this to happen. Get her out of jail. We have this time period. We're starting to wind down. <laughs> How long will it take for me to make? Do I need to make bail or? No, no. They're gonna let you go after they figure you've calmed down and you aren't gonna rip any more bounties up. I'm not gonna. Okay. Yeah. You know, they're so just I'm trying most... to like set an example. <laughs> um. Yeah. Thank you for your information. Uh. Very helpful. Well. You won't mind if I say I hope we never see each other again. I would hate to have to drag you back across the border. Let's shake on it, sir, because I can say the same for you. <laughs> so, yeah, he puts his hand out to shake with you. I just sit back and wait till it's done, and I just keep seeing a go-go. I'm Twee Walker. I'm coming for you. Go, right. go, I feel like it's Walker, really creepy and... too. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay. It's like the chick from um, uh, what's name? Game of Thrones, like making her lips. Oh yeah, yeah. She just closes her eyes and lays, just relaxes. She's not, you know, she knows she. Abelia Stark. Not she's not been arrested before, but she gets it. Obviously, being from a political family, the things that you do or you don't do, you don't cause any more trouble. So she's behaving herself. Shawarma. Oh my god. What is with the Avengers references today? But she is united. A go go and Twee Walker. I'm coming for you. Alright. I feel like this is a good place to wind down the episode and maybe do a little post episode we'll talk here. And I'm in prison. No, I mean at the beginning of I'm the next jail. episode we'll have you guys on the other side of the board. Yeah. Picking her up. Uh before I forget, everyone gets two thousand experience because you work towards the goal, find a way out of my arranged marriage permanently. <laughs> Yay! Uh, so one thing I'd like to do is check in on everybody's goals. Uh, for Gofu, the only goal I have listed for you currently is hunt a monster. Uh, I guess I gotta come up with something else now. Yeah, you might want to think about that for next week. Okay. I want a piece of that go-go. Okay. Uh, Give me a piece of that go go. Mm -hmm. That piece of that go go. I think everybody wants a piece of that go go. Uh, I, I mean, how are you wording this? It's literally, I, I want to kill a go go walker. I don't want to. Uh, well, I'm just saying in general, but I'm going to come up with something. Okay. Uh, Abelia, the goals I have listed for you are set up a trade route, find my biological father among the many fathers, and trace my lineage. And the final one is seek out a remedy to help your twin siblings. Those are all pretty solid. Do we lose you? Maybe she's muted. That could be. It's hard to tell when someone doesn't have yeah. their cam up <laughs> and they're just like, you know. True. Can't, can't we'll we'll skip to Kareem real quick. Uh, um. Your goal is currently, I am exiled, I'm looking for a new land, and uh, hunt a mythological monster. Uh, no, I was not going to change, uh, well actually no, that's fine. Uh, yeah, like find have a new a land. Have a baby? Uh, yeah, and, and have a baby. Okay. Uh, and Naomi, uh, 
your goal is currently become a known priest. Uh, I also have the become our own lord with underlings, cure Kareem, uh, find my follower, and at this point, uh, as a sub under cure Kareem, it's going to be have a baby. Cure Kareem, and find my followers? Yeah, find my follower. Okay. Sasahi. All right. Gotta find them. I mic, love Sasa. He was my mic working oh. now. Yep, yep. Your mic's yep. back to working. Okay, that's weird. It, nothing was muted. Did you have any goals that you wanted to remove or add from that list? So the uh, so far the ones that you went down were pretty much the ones I'd like to stick to. But there was one that you hadn't mentioned that's on my list, which is restore broken interclan alliances. Okay. And I think neutralizing a Gogo Walker could fit in with that. So it wouldn't be too far off the mark, since okay. apparently I may have broken a lot of alliances. <laughs> Damn. You killed the wrong quest giver. You broke the main story. That's it. Done. God. So, yeah, but yeah, the, the she potentially like a... finding a cure for the twins, tracing my lineage, which was, you know, what happens if I be <laughs> choose to become a journal, finding out who my biological father is. Those are still, yeah, I would say those are still up there. Restore broken interclan alliances, part one, neutralize a Gogo Walker. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that would probably fall under there very nicely. I apologize for all the weird stuff I did tonight because I'm apparently super tired and I think I might actually be sick. You're doing oh, okay, wow. man. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna so once I'm actually... gonna once again disclaim that I'm on a lot of pain. Killers. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm actually about to throw up. So... This is such a good show, though. Yeah, oh, I can't man. believe how well it went. Yeah, seems like the, the audience was going God, crazy. I don't even remember There's... blanking out when you guys were like talking about leaving. You said you like left the cup in the oh, knife yeah, behind. The I was just yeah. like. <laughs> that face, that face. You leave your cup behind. <laughs> So, where do you guys see this show going forward for next week? Because, I mean, it's that episode, and then we take the winter break until we come back in January. So, I feel like that's got to be explosive, right? Kareem yeah. and Naomi yeah. have some work to do. Mm -hmm. And then we <laughs> try, to get some, try to get some murder done. Yeah, got to yeah. get murder done. Kind of fun to have that fight five episodes I'm, in. I'm glad that we didn't go you with You tell us in the next Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, next no, that... Uh, was that literally first episode where you're like, yeah, go, go, Walker. That's your one of your, right? It's like, this yeah. is a job. This is a thing you can do. We're like, yeah, that eh. was the first guy you talked to. The random We're like, maybe in like, maybe in like 20, 24 uh, hours, you know, let us go play for 30 hours or so, Arthur, and then we'll maybe do the first thing you, you gave us to do. Uh, what was his name? Pae. Yeah, Pae. Yeah, he mentioned Agogo, that Agogo was causing problems, and so did the prince. But Pae was just a random encounter. Right, I was like, yeah. let me roll the random encounter table. And I'm pretty sure it was like 11. I was like, oh, it's doubles. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, man, that would be amazing that the end of the episode is you meet a go-go and then boom, end credits. Damn. <laughs> I, heard you were, I heard you were looking for someone. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. As the chat suspects, he turns around, takes off his sunglasses, and it's Sasahi. Yeah. <gasps> no! You think everyone in town would have recognized him by his bounty posters. Son of a bitch. <laughs> but it's all different. If he's cowardly or he, you know, however he pays people off, you never know what this person... Hey, you know, Superman doesn't have his glasses. How far yeah, the subterfuge like... goes. You know? <laughs> Superman doesn't have his Go -Go could be smarter than <laughs> yeah. it's, it's super effective, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, it is. There you go. I like that pun. Um, <laughs> yeah, Dom, just specifically for you, I feel like in some of the other episodes I might not have been able to throw as much screen time to you as, as I would have oh, liked. Oh, no, I'm enjoying myself. We yeah, I feel that. like... Did, did you, you you enjoyed this episode? That's good. I felt it was Yeah, because good. it was like I didn't want to do combat with her because I know her. But at the same time, I could lose one of the teammates if we go into combat because she's probably going to stab somebody hard. And that plot twist at the end was like, he didn't even show up. I'm pissed. Oh, We didn't to even meet man. the waifu. To be clear, he actually did show up. But then the news came from the 
the Ravens. I'm just going to use that term. Uh, the Ravens came that that your actions caused the end of alliances and that you have shattered the land. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, God. I like to point out, allegedly. Oh, no, when we fix this, and if she's still no alive... Proof. I would, like, if hey, Menkari turns out now. to be working with a go-go walker. <gasps> what if Menkari's a actually a go-go and a go-go's not actually walk. a guy? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, we'd have never seen a go-go. And she was very clear about she wanted to go after this dude, so. I'm just saying. Until there's proof it didn't happen. Oh, Pixar or it didn't happen. Pixar didn't happen. So what I want to say is there's actually someone who predicted... Uh, the Agogo Walker Prince of Lies kept some Walker plot on the last episode on YouTube, and I had to delete. I congratulated the person for figuring it out. They had almost every detail correct, but I deleted it because I didn't want to spoil everybody. Um, yeah, fantastic don't, don't job. Don't spoil man. YouTube. I sometimes have to go watch these back, especially. If I I'm still. Out I, of my mind on no, I haven't figured it out, but I'm. I'm not. I don't put mysteries together pretty quickly, so. Me neither. No, I'm I don't know what it is. Shoot! To go to, I missed it. Yeah, I have no. I still don't I have no clue. Well, we'll see if we can uh, clear up I'm just the hoping, mysteries. Yeah, I'm just hoping all of the people who I trust are trustworthy people, and I love when that doesn't turn out to be the case. <laughs> because you know it's always more dramatic that way, obviously. But yeah, Ebelia is like, okay, who do I trust? In? Kareem is actually a go-go. Kareem! Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Wouldn't that be a fantastic reveal? <laughs> I mean, it's not that answer. Virgil and I work so closely together, we could plan something like that. Yeah, that wouldn't work. We're At not. least not or Kareem. first. What did we do when we were drugged up and we went and chopped her up ourselves? What? We don't know what we've done. Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> might have done it while we were all lost. We when we were lost, we <laughs> might have gone and just started cutting people up. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't remember. There were, there were missing days there, man. We don't know. <laughs> oh, we're going to do a Blair Witch Project 2 then? <laughs> we go back and watch the video. It turns out it was you all along. It was us all along. Um, <laughs> it was us all along. It's some, <laughs> I feel like in some instances it, that could be very well said for this group. Like, oh, yeah, that was us all along. <laughs> <laughs> we were a go-go. <sighs> we were. <laughs> for the monster. There's four of us, two arms, two legs. Ha ha ha. Arthur's the head. Oh, God. <laughs> I haven't even taken any drugs. Damn, I, I do yeah, think I'm getting sick. Like my We're nose definitely a bunch stuff. of monsters. Uh, yep. I'll tell you that. I uh, it, it's getting to that point. It's very interesting, like, behind the scenes thinking of Ebelia and working with the team and what the story is going to be. And like, Despite the fact that we are actively trying not to kill people people are still dying all around us yeah. we didn't do it we didn't pull the trigger we're good you know and she's just getting increasingly frustrated you've got to be kidding me with this like yeah i ridiculous all right well let's do some outros here if this is your first time on the stream just go ahead and click that follow button there uh, not every episode of, of all of my shows are this drama-filled or uh, go, 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 as go, sideways as this one. Go, 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 go. <laughs> or as filled with puns. But uh, yeah, if, if this is your first time here, just go ahead and click on YouTube there and subscribe. Go back through the playlist, check out every episode of Spears of the Dawn so far to catch up and uh, all the other games we have. Now, Gamer Siren, a.k.a. Tenshi Okada, mm -hmm. who are you? Where can people find you, and what do you do? Um, I am a streamer here on Twitch. I can be followed at twitch.tv slash Gamer Siren. Um, I also have my profile for my Twitter and my Facebook page in my profile. Um, I play a bunch of different games currently playing fallout like everybody else but i do also play a bunch of games that people don't play mostly but touchy games like akiba's trip where you have to strip people of their clothes because they're vampires and that's how you defeat them it's a good game <laughs> fun. that sounds fun i want to watch that it was very good it was very fun i like it um i also like to scare the crap out of myself by playing scary games and let me tell you what uh, a couple people watched that stream and it was intense 
Um, and then also I do play, you know, role-playing games like this one here. So you guys, if you're interested to see me in other roles that maybe Arthur might invite me back, um, follow him and maybe we'll see something different. We're seeing something different with this show. That's Definitely sure. is different. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> the longest game I have no combat by long. Yeah, for real. Dom, who are you and where can people find you at? Uh, my name is uh, Smooth Mage. I guess that will be my persona from now on. Yeah. Uh, you can see me on uh, Arthur Channel just playing games. I uh, run games in my local group all the time. But hey, I'm just a really chillax guy that likes wearing hats. Like it's really it's, it's twitter.com slash smooth mage with like no underscore or anything, right? Yep. Yeah, the smooth mage. Uh, yeah, Virgil. Like yeah, who are you and where can people follow you and what do you do? Hey guys, I'm Virgil Zircon5 Levenger. I get silly on the internets um, and have a blast doing it. Uh, and you can, you can come watch my stuff a lot of days here at AP Gaming Reel, so make sure to to follow and uh, sub on the YouTubes if you're catching the VODs. Um, and you can check me out. Uh, my YouTube is Virgil Levenger, uh, as well as my Twitter handle, at Virgil Levenger. If you want to catch live shows I'm doing, those are over at twitch.tv slash Zircon5. All right, cool. And TL, who are you? Where can people find you? And what do you do? Hi everyone, I'm TL. I'm still very new to all of this Twitch streaming and gaming this way, and this has been a fantastic introduction these last uh, this few weeks playing with you guys. Uh, and my Clark Kent alter ego is just your regular run-of-the-mill senior project manager at Loot Crate, so I'm online mostly in a professional sense, so talking about project management and certifications. Um, and leading, you know, extreme projects and stuff like that. I write a lot of white papers. I've written one for NASA about risk management. So <laughs> I'm actually not out in the world specifically as a gamer yet, but this is my sort of, you know, dipping a toe into the world of that kind of digital platform. Uh, but I'm at PM l 33 PM Lead. Love talking about project management. Obviously, love talking about gaming. Uh, when I do game, it's mostly just local, usually offline. So I DM, uh, you know, 5E D&D, for newbies and sometimes at work I'll run our game nights there for random board games like you know old school goodies like you know Catan or Arkham Horror or new stuff like you know Pandemic Legacy um, so it's a it's a mix of things but still mostly analog when it comes to gaming but if you do want to talk business or you just want to chat I'm on Twitter and readily available all right guys thank you so much we'll be back next week to Entertain, astound, mysteriorize you, and possibly kill a go-go on Walker. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs>